Well, this morning we actually talked about the name of the message was called Snake Bite. What was really interesting <laughs> about the name of that message was the tie in was in the very, very end. I'm not sure if I like that or not, because I usually start out with the intro, you know, talking a little bit about that. But it went it went pretty good. We were actually looking into Hebrews 12, 14 through 15. And um, there in that scripture, there were three things that God really tells us to, to do. He says, seek peace pursue holiness and get rid of bitterness so i really need to kind of pick one of those to talk about for a couple minutes there's no way i'm going to get to all three that's for sure so i think what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to go with um seek peace okay um yeah because uh there's a scripture that kind of goes alongside this in romans 12 18 through 21 that kind of gives more details about what that peace really is. It says uh, there, if it po- if it's possible, as much as depends on you, leave peace, live peaceably with all men. Uh, beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give, and give uh, place to wrath. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you'll, you will heap heaping coals of fire on his head. Um, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. What's interesting is the beginning of that, it says, as much as it depends on you. If at all possible, be, live at peace with all men as much as it depends on you. And I talked about like this guitar I have. It's a Taylor guitar. I've always wanted a Taylor guitar from the very beginning of me playing guitar. I didn't get one until I was probably 51, 50 years old. I love that Taylor guitar. Um, Jordan and I used to go to guitar places, and the first place we would go was the Taylor section, and we would just spend all of our time playing guitar, Taylor guitars. Um, but now I have one. He'll say, hey, want to go out looking at guitars? And I'm thinking, no, I've got one in my bedroom. I don't care. you know. But, <laughs> um, but that guitar is my guitar. Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to give it away because it's mine. Um, I'm responsible for it because it's mine. I have a few people that I let play it, but that Taylor guitar is mine. It's my responsibility. And I was thinking that along the lines of our peace. Our peace, my peace, is my responsibility. If I threw a fit right here, Nigel, in this room, (laughs) you would not be responsible for it. No. No, you wouldn't because you're responsible for your peace, not my peace. And I'm responsible for my peace and not the peace of people that are around me. And so how do we do that? It says, well... Uh, do not avenge for yourselves. So there's t- the two things that God says we can't touch are his glory, because all the glory is his, and vengeance or judgment, final judgment is his. And so, you know, that that's what takes the sting out of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I think that when we see something, for me, like social media or um, the news, you know, the titles just buzz with something to grab your attention. And it's usually something that maybe isn't fair or something that isn't right. And it just kind of ticks me off and I lose my peace. I give it away. And God says, you know, if, if at all possible, he says, you know, keep your peace. And he's talking more in particular about kind of relationships, right? And then he says, um, uh, in doing so, in, you know, feeding, when your enemy is hungry, feed him. I would think if your enemy is hungry, slap him. You know, if you're, you know, if he's thirsty, give him a drink. I'm thinking hit him over the head with a bottle, you know. Uh, he says, but, it, you know, in doing so, you heap coals of fire on his head. Now, I always thought that that was like, it's uncomfortable to have heaping coals of fire on your head. <laughs> and there's an there's an old saying that says, kill them with your kindness. You've probably heard that, right? Kill them. Yeah, That's yeah, actually... Yeah, that's not a biblical concept, kill them with your kindness. But that reference there, heap coals of fire on his head, um, isn't talking about making things uncomfortable by being good to people when they're hurting you. It's actually uh, something that's written all over the New Testament, especially Deuteronomy. It's a reference to God's judgment, that when we heap uh, coals on people's heads, we're saying, okay, listen, I'm not going to judge this person. I am not going to seek revenge over this person. That's for God to do. And uh, that's really kind of how we keep our peace, you know. I bet you've put in, because I know what you do for work, and I know that you're probably not going to bring that up on the air, but what you do for work it has a lot to do probably with keeping your peace, right? Oh, yeah, you have to keep your peace. You have to keep your peace and composure. Yeah. Especially, you know, especially if, if they, they lose it, you if you lose it, that you're going in a bad place you gotta, yeah yep. you got to get them back on track and that's your job if yep. somebody if one of my if a guy i'm working with is is loses his peace and yeah. gets angry i gotta settle them down and yep. and and 
send them in a different point them in another direction yeah it's usually what i do yep or get them to calm down or get them to you know okay, let's do this let's, yeah. let's not think about or you know the, the, this is what's going to help the situation let's not Absolutely. hurt the situation yep mm-hmm. yeah and losing your peace won't make the situation worse so you've got to keep it yeah that's good yeah and i tell them that so they, well, getting upset is not going to help anything you gotta mm. um, yeah i give that advice a lot that's good awesome well, we've got a top 10 coming up you know, at 